Hi, and welcome to this video on Recorded Futures app for Splunk version 2.5.0. In this video, we will be addressing the enrichment functionality. Assuming you have the application loaded and is set up, navigate to the Enrichment tab, and from the drop down, let's select IP Enrichment. Under IP Lookup, I will enter an IP I'm interested in knowing more about. So in this case, that'll be 143. Dot one nine eight dot two four one dot one nine two, and I'll click the submit button. This page will generate quite a lot of content, and so we will take some time to review the information. But in general, all enrichment pages will return the following panels. Let's click on the docs button in the summary tab. Here we have a brief and helpful mini guide as to what information is being provided on this page, which can be useful just to see a brief summary of the different panels. So moving over to the summary panel now, we'll review the content. So this particular IP address has a severity of very malicious, a risk score of 99, 10 of 79 triggered risk rules, we're provided with an ASN number and an organization related to that ASN number, a rough location on the geolocation data, the first and latest reference timestamps, as well as the number of references that have been found, and finally, the MITRE TAC code itself. The risk score obviously here is 99, but on the following panel, the infrastructure detections, this particular Panel information is designed to search through your data and provide you with any matching log sources. Obviously, this is a demo, so that will be limited here. But if you were to find a matching log source, you would have a time triggered UTC, the specific log source, and the use case that IP address is known against. Moving on now, we have the technical links. Technical links is broken down into two pieces, that being the actors, tools, and TTPs, victims, and exploit targets. Under actors, tools, and TTPs, we provide the MITRE attack identifier, an example here being TA0011, but also we provide the malware associated with the IP address, so in this case being Cobalt Strike. And if we click on that, it will automatically enrich that piece of malware from our API and bring you back an enrichment page with a similar set of panels. For example, those panels being summary, infrastructure detections, as well as those technical links, access tools, TTPs, victims and exploit targets, indicators and detection rules, specifically here for Cobalt Strike. Navigating back now to our original IP enrichment. And scrolling down the page, continuing on with our victims and exploit targets for this IP address, we can see it's a company related to DataCamp Limited. And a specific IP address here provides you with a list of those which you can drill down into and see a full list. Moving now to the triggered risk rules, some of the most important data that we provide. In this situation, this IP address has a couple of criticality fours, which is our highest criticality level, and one level three. Those are related to rules. Here, in this case, is actively communicating validated command and control server. And we provide you with the evidence for this rule specifically. In this case, there are nine sightings on one source. This has come from the recorded future network intelligence, and there have been multiple observations observed between this particular IP address ending in dot six two on three ports, one of those ports being four six six three one, as well as the following port being four four three, and we provide you with a timestamp as to when we've seen that information. Again, we continue to list out the appropriate rules and the reasoning behind why we have given those criticality ratings. The 
The historical side provides you with a bit more narrative as to where we've seen that IP address over a longer period of time. Moving on now to side details. Here, this is a brief breakdown of the risk score and geographical information for the registered subnet to this IP address. And this is sortable, so you can click on specific headers here for IP address and risk score and sort these CIDR details out for better clarity. Under threat lists, this table displays some information related to those threat lists. Specifically here, we understand this IP address has been seen in threat lists related to Recorded Futures Command and Control lists, RAT controller for Shodan and Recorded Future, as well as the Cobalt Strike default configuration detected, which comes also from Shodan and Recorded Future. The reference timeline here gives you a graphical representation of when this was seen. So this is from July of 2023 all the way over to June of this particular year, 2024. Moving then to the actual reference content, this is obviously broken down into the latest reference first and is made up of two particular tables. The first of these references here is the recent info sec. We provide you with a published date as to when that was seen. The source, which in this case is the red packet security. A title as to what that was published against. And a fragment, and as we can see the IP address has been obfuscated from this content here. As well as a, a URL where analysts can go to and review the content for themselves. Onto the final piece now, we provide you then with the first reference of when this IP address was seen. And again, we provide you with the type, the published, the source, in this case being Twitter, the title of that particular Twitter, as well as a fragment. And again, we can see that particular IP address within that content. <laughs> 